you've been refreshingly upfront in, in the papers the last couple of weeks about that being 40, hitting 40. Uh, yes, oh are you 40? Are you 40 yet, or was it? I mean, it was. When? when when's your birthday? <laughs> I've, pa I've passed through the hoop of fun. Passed to everyone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Eventually. But you've, I've but, come but, of age, finally. But you're not counting backwards. The as, age as of reason. Do. Oh, no way. You're just, you've, and you've, no. you've actually said, right, fine, good, here we are, in the 40s now, so let's, uh, let's look on it as a new era. Do you? Really? Did oh, you see yeah, it as a... totally. I mean, yeah, at last, you've, yeah, you've look learned. Any different. You, you've learned an awful lot, haven't you? You know, you've been through the school of life. Yes, yes. But, I mean, do you... And you've, that's what you trade off. You trade off your youth for that wisdom. Is it, is it sad? That's the it? irony. We were talking about youth disappearing the other day, weren't we, on the programme? I mean, not, not ours. We're all looking terribly young, but I mean... <laughs> so, <laughs> but it is sad. But it, it is a sad yeah. exchange. No, you can't be fixated on looks. It's, but it's, act it's, actresses are often quite... They do get worried. I mean, we, I can't remember the number of, of actors and actresses I've spoken to who say that it is a terribly difficult period when you hit that middle period in your life because you're no longer playing... Um, the young love interest. Mm. You're not old enough to play, you know, if you like, the, the, the character parts. Mm. Um, it's quite difficult. But actually, you do look very young for your age. So oh, thank you very much. I yeah. think the makeup girl's probably done a very good job. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're, half, you're half Italian, aren't you? I'm half Italian, yes. yes. That explains it. I think that must it's be, the Mediterranean, yes. that dash yeah. of Mediterranean. Well, it probably is. Um, I, no, I haven't found that difficult. I haven't found I've hit a difficult patch, but it's great for me because I have a life as well. You know, I'm not career obsessed. And also, I've achieved a lot of the goals that I set out to achieve. I'm very, you know, I've done a lot of the things I wanted to do. Yes. So I have a, I have a daughter mm -hmm. who is at an age now where I don't want to be rushing out to work. She's six, isn't she? She's, She's getting on for seven, seven. yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, you know, if, if there are little dry patches, I'm not too worried about it because oh, yeah. it gives me a chance to be with her. And you're a single parent, so you, in a sense you need to have more time. Yes, I do. With, with your daughter. I do. What is, I often wonder this, what does she think of you when she sees you on the telly? I mean, did she, did she was the manageress on too late for her? Or, or no, no, she watched it? the manageress. Um, when she was very young, she used to say, how can you be in two places, Mummy? Mm. Yeah. But now, of course, she understands, and of course, she's been on the set with me, and she, un she has a very sophisticated understanding of the whole process. Do you take her with you if you have to I do, yes, and I have a very understanding headmistress who feels like I do, that uh, it's an education to travel and mm. see how these things work. Mm -hmm. mm. And so, yes, she gets a little time off school when it's necessary. I don't like to leave her. Mm. I like to take her with me, and she's, of course, she's smitten. She's starstruck. She wants well, to be I an actress. Yeah. She thinks it's very glamorous, does yeah. she? Yeah, well... She loves make-believe, you know, she's got an imagination, she sees mummy making believe, she dresses up and acts a lot, and yeah. Um, yeah. who am I to stop her? Yeah. Well, where would you go from, from here? I mean, obviously, possibly more Fifield series, but you were talking about, you know, moving into the 40s. How would you see your, your career moving? I mean, what sort of parts would you like to get into? Oh, I don't know. It's like being asked what you want for Christmas. You know, yeah. your mind goes a blank. Um, because you're not pigeonholed. It's hard to, I mean, one can't actually say well, no, that I you are known for such and such. And, and that's what I would hope to hmm. sustain, uh, because I think every actor doesn't, uh, wants to be challenged and stretched in different directions and be as versatile as they possibly can, go on developing and refining their craft. Mm. And that takes fresh challenges. If you're just asked to do the same old thing and you know you feel safe and you know you're gonna churn mm. out the same old performance, I think you die as an artist. Yeah. Do you like working in theatre? Yes, I love theatre. I love theatre, and um, I'm always looking to go back to the theatre. Of course, the trouble is with a, with a child, you're, you're out six nights a week, yes, and yes. so a very long run is not ideal, I, I, preferably something mm. a couple of months, three months at the max. Yeah. Mm. But I did theatre a couple of years ago for the last time, it's probably time to get back. Yeah. Mm.